we're going to be dealing with some chicken broth that I have here today. And so what I did was I had this cooking overnight while we were sleeping and did it in my Instapot. It is definitely my favorite way to do it right now. I used to do it in the slow cooker, the crock pot, but I now do it in the Instapot. I do eventually want to get myself one of those um, turkey, tur turkey, turkey roaster ovens and I would like to start doing it in there because every time I make a whole chicken, I do save all of the bones and stick them in the freezer. So I have quite a collection and we do buy half the cow from the butcher. And so I have quite a collection of those bones as well. And so you want to roast those before you cook them to make a bone broth from. And so since I have so many bones, the Instant Pot can only hold so many. And that a good, nice size took turkey roaster will I'll be able to put a lot more of the bones probably all of my bones that I have so far and I'll be able to make a lot more than I can here but since I have the instant pot right now and it is my favorite way to cook it right now I took I had a carcass from two whole chickens that I had cooked and so I was able to fit all of those bones in my instant pot and then I filled it up with water to the max fill line and then I put some apple cider vinegar in it I would say probably about two to three teaspoons of the apple cider vinegar. And I let that go to pressure and cook overnight while we were sleeping. I put it, I sealed it, and I put it on the highest setting for the time that you set. So on this one, it goes by hours. I think my other one used to go by minutes. This one goes by hours, and so it was four hours. And that was, as, that was the longest it would let me set for pressure cooking. And so I set it on that. And then when it gets done cooking, it does beep saying that it's done, but it keeps it, it just holds it warm for the rest of the night. And so by time we get up the next morning, it's been kept warm all night long. So it's still stayed warm. It's still cooked a little bit through the night and I just can it or jar it. I'm not really canning it. I jar it whenever... I get up after we have breakfast and it's still warm it's not super 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 hot but it's still warm to where I mean it hasn't gone bad or anything so what I'm doing here is I'm just ladling it into these half gallon jars I am gonna have one jar that's quite a bit full because we do have karate tonight and so I need something quick for dinner and the jar that I'm really filling to the top I'm gonna be using that for some chicken and dumplings for tonight because that's something that Leland has been requesting. So the jar that isn't full to the brim, I am going to be freezing that. I don't can my broth. I do prefer to freeze it. And I do freeze it in my glass jars. So uh, glass jars are actually perfectly fine to freeze in as long as you are not filling it tippy top to the top. So I don't know if you can see here in this jar. I have it filled up right where that jar starts to curve at the top. And whenever I'm freezing in my jars, that's what I do. I don't go above that that portion where that jar is starting to curve back up right at the top there. And uh, that gives it room at the top to expand whenever it freezes. But I don't have a problem with my jars breaking. So here I'm just putting, putting in some clips of the boys playing. Anna is napping right here. But the boys are playing with some toys that they got from their birthday. And I did promise some family members that they would be able to see the kids a little bit more often. Even though Brian's not quite not quite sure about it for some reason. But um, I do have the boys playing here. And they were having fun showing me everything that they can do with, the, with these airplanes. He almost hit Leland there. Almost got him. <laughs> So here, before I get everybody ready to go to karate, karate was at 5.15. This evening they have two evenings that's 5.15 and two evenings that's 4.30. But it is 5.15 on this evening because Bryant does like to try to make some of them. And with work, 4.30 can be kind of tight to fit that in. So I'm going to go ahead to make dinner fast when we get home. I have the broth done. It's set aside. It's going to be ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get the dumplings done. So I'm doing two cups of all-purpose flour here. And it looks like I got something stuck on it or I found something stuck on it. And I'm going <laughs> to try and get it off. <laughs> this kind of, like I am kind of a little bit anal about 
things being clean, like, I guess kind of OCD with it. But then at the same time, it kind of helps me keep my house clean because if I run across something, there's like a smudge or something, you know, stuck on my jar here, I just go ahead and clean it be that now that I saw that it's dirty. And it does kind of help me keep up with cleaning things. So anyways, just a little thing I have. So I'm going to put some salt here. Uh, oh goodness, if I had to measure, I would say maybe a teaspoon of salt. Um, it is going to be cooking in my chicken broth. And so since my chicken had salt and seasonings on it from when that the chicken that I made to make the chicken broth, the chicken broth is going to have those salty seasoned flavors in it as well. So I do put probably a teaspoon of salt in this. And then I would say I'd I would go ahead and do a teaspoon of the baking powder. I, I cook without measuring and I, I just kind of eyeball things. <laughs> so when I'm trying to tell you all what I'm doing, I'm really trying to come up with the amount that I'm probably doing. But I would say a teaspoon of the salt, a teaspoon of the baking powder. And if you need a little more salt, you can always add salt to the broth later too. So I did do, I'd say two teaspoons maybe of the of butter. And you do want, I did this a little backwards, you do want to go ahead and mix all your dry ingredients, get that incorporated before you add the butter. I, I didn't, I just added the butter, so it got a little stuck in my whisk, but it's okay. So, but you do want to kind of break that butter up in there, almost like you're making biscuits, so it gets, it gets mixed in. And then you want to add milk. I don't know how much milk, but um, I do add it until it has the consistency that I want. So I do want, like, I don't know if you've ever made homemade biscuits before, but I do want more of that consistency. So I want my dough to get wet, but I don't want it super, super sticky to my fingers to where I can't deal with it. Sorry, my phone is going off. Um, to where I can't deal with it. <clears throat> so I do go ahead and mix it in here. There were, it was kind of sticky on the top, but there were dry pieces underneath it on the bottom. So what I eventually do here is get rid of the fork and then I just use my hand to kind of fold and press everything together. Get all those dry pieces in there, get, get them where there's some moisture and those dry pieces all also help that really sticky um, wet top to kind of mix in as well and to where it's, it's not quite as sticky anymore. And then whenever we get home, this will, this will be done and right I'm going to cover it. I'm going to go ahead and stick it in the fridge while we're gone and dealing with karate. Sorry if y'all can hear my uh, my neighbors are talking. Yes, y'all are talking if y'all are watching this video. <laughs> I'm doing this while y'all are talking. <laughs> so my phone's going off. But anyways, it was covered sitting in the fridge. And so super quick and easy for me to just take it out. The boys like to roll it out. And um, we were able to get them cut up and put into the hot chicken broth and we were able to have a very quick easy meal that I didn't have to scramble and do after karate and Bryant is there fixing my troublesome drawer it does work absolutely fantastic when he is done <laughs> I love it I told him he has to fix the rest of them but anyways thank y'all for watching this video and we will see y'all again soon when there is another video